today we are decluttering my wardrobe i haven't done this in such a long time it's way overdue my wardrobe is an absolute tip but now that the weather's getting warmer i wanted to swap out some of my winter kind of warmer jumpers and knitwear for some of my spring and summer pieces that i packed away last year i'm gonna try and be quite ruthless today and get rid of things i haven't worn in a while organize my wardrobe as i go because as you're about to see it is a state so this is one of my wardrobes i have another one in the spare room which is more kind of like dresses and like dressing up clothing it's not pieces that i reach for on a daily basis everything i reach for kind of day to day is in here so we have a rail here i've got loads of stuff stuffed at the bottom here that won't fit into the drawers anymore and then i have three drawers which are really big they're a really nice size really big and deep but they are a complete mess and need organizing so in the bottom drawer we have jumpers and knitwear it needs to be sorted out especially now that i won't be needing so many jumpers out at once in the second drawer <laughs> what a mess it's trousers some skirts some leggings and also some long dresses organized better so i can see everything that i've got and then tops is just absolute chaos i can never find what i'm looking for in here and i've got way too many kind of similars so we're gonna have to sort that out that's probably going to take the longest i imagine and then in terms of up here i think it can be like a quick sort through because a lot of this I do wear and I do still love so just a bit of an organized a bit of a tidy there are a couple of bits I can see that I don't wear as much and I know I can get rid of so I think I want to start with the bottom drawer because I think it's going to be the easiest so I'm just going to grab everything out and I have a tub under the bed full of kind of spring summer dresses stuff that I normally take with me on holiday so I need to get that out some like okay, random t-shirts that need to go in the wash in here as well I'm just I love knitwear I absolutely love it wearing a jumper even in the summer makes me so happy so it would be quick and easy but I need to be ruthless I'm also going to get a cloth so I can clean this as I go. So I think I'm going to try and store, because the drawers are quite deep, but everything kind of like this, so I can see exactly what I've got. That can go away, that can go away. This cute little orange sweater is a bit creased, so I need to store that a bit better. But that's nice to throw on in the summer for sure. And even though it is the summer, there are days where it still gets cold, so I might keep out another white. Or maybe, is this too thick? I think I'm going to say goodbye to my dungarees. Black dungarees, these are from a brand called Only. But I've worn them once in the past year and I just, they just don't make me feel great. They don't make me feel very confident. And I remember when I got these, I was really excited to find a pair that suited me, but I just don't think it's my vibe. So I'm going to be putting that up on, I think my Vinted. I've been using Vinted a lot recently and I really enjoy it. So if you guys see anything that I'm getting rid of and saying goodbye to, it'll be my Vinted. I'll link it down below. I'm going to keep out a black jumper because that's always handy to have all year round and also this is one of my favorite pieces of knitwear it's really old from misguided it's a cropped short sleeved jumper and it's so soft and it's just the perfect thing to throw on in the summer or take away on holiday for those kind of evenings where it's a little bit chilly definitely keep out a couple of cardigans i think i'm going to say goodbye to this pink cardigan from mango i really love it and i do still wear it but i don't want to change my style up at the moment i really like the whole neutral colors and the more slightly leaning on androgynous kind of masculine looks and this to me just doesn't really fit into that so as much as i love this i am going to say goodbye sadly i'm going to keep out this white kind of crochet cardigan this is from next i always get compliments on this which i always find really interesting because it's kind of basic say goodbye to that that can go away that can go away that can go away this is another pink cardigan but it's a little bit more oversized and the color is a little bit more me it's a bit more of a dusky pink so I'm going to keep that out just in case I need to chuck a warmer layer on. I'm going to keep this one out. Even though it is spring summer here in London, it is still freezing. So I am still going to need some warmer pieces. Two more cardigans which I've been wearing. A grey one. I've had this since I was at uni, literally since 2000. 
nine <laughs> might be one of the oldest things in my wardrobe and also this gray cardigan which i wear all the time goes with everything cool so i think that's all of my knitwear and the after looks like this so i've got some space which i think i might need for some trousers i think i've got some like knit dresses that i could definitely store in here now on to this absolute tip of a drawer this is all my trousers so again I'm just gonna get everything out oh my god water dress this is definitely more of a winter dress find somewhere else to store that and there's a lot here that i know i can get rid of and say goodbye to oh my god there's like random socks in this drawer as well and a receipt why is there a receipt in here some things that I immediately know I can say goodbye to and get rid of are firstly these Zara high waist kind of flared jeans. I absolutely love these but they just do not flatter my petite frame. I'm 4 foot 11 and not only are these really long on me but also the shape just kind of swamps me. They drown me out a little bit so I'm going to take a picture of these and put them up on my vintage because I've literally only had them a couple of months but look how wide those legs are. I also have these in a blue and again I think I'm gonna say goodbye to them once I come across them. Immediately I'm gonna start putting some of my favourite things back in. These white jeans from Next. These are petite cropped, kind of flared but suit me so much better. My favourite jeans of all time, the new look Tory petite mom jeans. I'm gonna keep one pair of leather look trousers and they are these ones from mango kind of like straight leg leather look it's good to have one pair of these in your wardrobe i don't think they suit me massively but it's nice to have the option although they're definitely more of a, like an autumn winter outfit so i'm going to put them at the back rather than at the front i'm going to have a pile of things to try on because i have these two pairs of levi jeans that i really wanted to love and i'm still just not convinced so i want to try them a little bit more like i don't want stuff in my wardrobe that i just know doesn't suit me isn't comfortable and that I don't wear often so I'm gonna put those in a pile to try on. These are the only pair of skinny jeans I now own. They are from Next and oof I think I might put these in my winter kind of drawer because I can't see myself reaching for these anytime soon but I want to keep hold of them because they do really suit me. I have a pair of shorts, denim shorts. I think these are my only pair. These are from Levi's. These are so nice. They're the 501 Petite I think definitely keeping these okay i've just found a little black knit sweater for drawing. these are the best things in the winter they are fleecy like fleece lined leggings can you see that they are so soft but they look like tight so if you want to wear a little like pretty dress and you don't want to look like you're wearing completely like opaque tights these are perfect but i am hopefully not going to be needing these anytime soon i'm going to take my hairband out because i feel like it's giving me a headache i think it's time oh i think it's time to say goodbye to these well i really don't want to old from top shop they are like pink pleated trousers i don't really wear them out often but i definitely wear them around the house because they're so comfy i don't know whether that means i should keep them or not you know what i might put them in my wardrobe and see if i wear them out or see how many times i wear them around the house and if not then they are going to go i've got like a little maxi skirt here probably going to keep that it's good to chuck on if i want to be comfy one of my favorite pairs of trousers these are from h&m and they're i don't know what you call this dog tooth they're not very flattering on my stomach i could definitely find a pair that flatter me a little bit more but they are what i call my betty draper trousers because they are so 50s and i really love them Saying goodbye to these. I only just got these tailored to my height, but I just never wear them. They don't make me feel amazing. I'm also going to make a pile here for things that I need to take to the tailor to get taken up to my height. 
because there's surprisingly quite a lot of it still that I haven't had adjusted. So then also in this drawer I had a couple of like long maxi dresses. It's kind of annoying. I don't have anywhere to hang like long items in my wardrobe but it's all like short. So all the long bits kind of get a bit creased at the bottom which is such a shame. I'm not really sure what to do about that so I might fold these back up. These long summer maxi dresses and put them in my trousers drawer. What does everyone else do if you don't have space for that? Okay, here is this drawer now. So I've got trousers, trousers and some skirts and then more comfy loungewear. Skirts and shorts here and then three long maxi summer dresses looking much better but now we're getting to the bit that i'm just not looking forward to this is going to take me ages okay i'm just going to grab everything out of this drawer and probably sort it on fast forward so you don't have to watch me struggle Da, 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 da. here is my top drawer so we have long sleeve tops and some t-shirts with like um gra graphic tees t-shirts and then short like short sleeve tank tops vest tops halter tops boob tubes stuff like that i tried to do them in color order until i got bored with that um but yeah this is looking way more organized i love that i can see exactly what i've got here so hopefully i'll be able to keep on top of this it means i won't have days where i'm like oh, i've got nothing to wear because look at all this i've got so much to wear and now i'm going to tackle this bit and then i need to finish off everything on the floor so so far this is a pile of stuff to get rid of this is stuff that i need to try on or put away for autumn winter i think i'm just going to take everything out and then put immediately back in the things that i know that i really love and want to keep oh i've got so much more stuff back here <laughs> I need another day where I just go through everything hanging up and iron it all or steam it all so it's all ready to wear because this shirt for example absolutely love it's just a nice stripy plain white shirt it goes with everything but I haven't been reaching for it because it's so creased and I never have time to iron it in the morning so I definitely need to do a little bit of wardrobe admin like that and then I have loads of stuff on like doubled up on hangers so I need to get out of the habit of doing that as well because it just makes things look more chaotic yeah this is another white linen shirt from uniqlo that i absolutely love but again it's creased so i need to iron that Okay, I am really liking how this is looking at the moment. I love the colours are all kind of neutral, apart from a <laughs> of bright pink trousers there. Yeah, I feel like it looks fab. It's not too overcrowded. I know where everything is. And everything here is kind of like, can be layered up with the t-shirts in that top drawer. So this is my summer box. So I am just gonna go through this and add some bits from this into my wardrobe. And then I need to, I don't know, find somewhere to store some of these old, these winter jumpers as well. I'm also listening to My Favourite Murder as my entertainment of choice. Having a podcast is just the best whilst trying to sort your wardrobe out because it helps, really helps to distract. Um, I'm really excited about adding some of these pieces to my wardrobe because these are a lot of the items I wore on our honeymoon in the Maldives. Oh, you can even see me. 
And yeah, I love them loads. Put my podcast back on. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit of a headache now, but I think I'm done with this wardrobe, which I'm so happy about. It didn't actually take as long as I thought it would, and I've tried to get rid of quite a lot of stuff. I still have the other wardrobe in the other room that I need to do, so that will come in a different vlog. But for now, let me show you how my wardrobe is looking. Oh, I just love how this is looking. It's so much more organised. So I've got out some of my summer dresses and hung them on this side. There's a little bit of colour in there, but they're all kind of small mini dresses and some knit dresses as well. And then I have all my smart trousers hanging here. A couple of waistcoats, black tops, white tops, a couple more dresses and then blazers and shirts. One of my problems was that I was struggling with hanging long dresses in here. Easiest solution, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, was just to fold them over. So, so for example, I've just hung this dress, kind of folded over, tried to like flatten it out so it doesn't get too creased. But this means now that I can fit it in my wardrobe and it's hanging and it's not getting too greased folded up in a drawer. But it is, um, yeah, still hanging in my wardrobe and it fits. Yeah, there's not, there's not much room to kind of move things around, but I do have the other wardrobe that I know I can get rid of quite a lot of stuff in. So down here, this is looking nice and organised. I've added a couple more um, jumpsuits just to this pile here, but here are my trousers. I love how I can see everything that I've got. And then jumpers added a couple more knitwear dresses for all the summer in here so i am so happy with how i did i have a big pile of clothes here that i'm getting rid of some shirts some trousers yeah quite a lot i'm going to count all this up now and see how many and i've still got those levi's that i need to try on at some point as well but i can imagine i'm really enjoying how my wardrobe is looking right now and i feel like i've got way like more than enough of each color of jeans so i think i'm happy to get rid of them i hope this has given you some inspiration to declutter and reorganize and resort and clean out your wardrobe for spring summer let me know if you have any questions let me know if you want to see the other wardrobe declutter and yeah love you guys lots be sure to subscribe and i'll see you again soon Mwah!